Guys, welcome to the trailhead of Montana. Just getting started. Our special guest, Mr. Ty like Stubblefield. It's like a booby trap. <laughs> we're really, we're we got really, you in here, right, Ty? We're really, pretty much building this up. Ty's one of the original OGs, born and raised outdoors. Big influence for me growing up in Oregon, so it's awesome to get him out here hunting with the group. The band is back together. And by OG, he means old grandpa. <laughs> old grandpa. <laughs> There's your crew from Montana. Motley. Motley at all, yeah. I call us Motley. 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 Yeah. We're pretty much ready to roll. We got four days worth of food, gear on our backs. The weather is pretty prime. Something totally new for us, uh, living off our backpacks. And who better to do it with than a few guys that kind of have done it have a couple no idea times. what they're doing. Allegedly. <laughs> this is some awesome country. Absolutely gorgeous. We're what, a mile from the truck maybe? It seems like we're in a whole new world, man. We just popped up out of the trees. We could finally see what we're working with here. Like I said, none of us have ever been here. Just got a tip from a local guy and we just basically said, let's go try it. Right up the trailhead. That happened like so fast. The wind was great and then switch right down hill. That bull is coming in on a string too. Got quite a few bulls bugling down in this big drainage so we're trying to figure out like what the best approach is. I go ahead and come down in on them, drop in. It's a pretty deep hole. But at least three different poles, probably, plus the one that busted us. Smoking. He's smoking.
I know you guys don't want to, but that, whatever you think is that's best. what's gonna happen. Let's go. Okay. It's Trevor's birthday. He can do what he wants to. <laughs> You got arrow. You got how much penetration you think? Uh, smells like blood. 18 inches. 18 inches. There. No broadhead. 18 inches. Like the broad. No broadhead. Broke off. Yeah. Uh, we're just following blood, hoping for the best. It's always the worst, man. As soon as you pull, the, you release that arrow, it's, until you find the animal, it's. it's the worst. Lots of anticipation, but feel good about feel good about this one. <laughs> Birthday ball! That that was a low shot. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hey, bruh. Oh, good morning. Getting ready to uh, go chase elk. It's a little chilly this morning. We slept great. All bundled up into the uh, tent that Trev had. See if we could find an elk. This is our last full day to hunt, so wish us luck. Join us.
shot. I couldn't tell because he stepped behind a tree. Yeah, I don't know. He's only 10 yards for me, from me. I think he said he got a good hit on it. I'm wiped out. I'm so tired. We have uh, put some miles in early this morning. We're at four and a half miles right now with a ton of just up and down and up and down. Cody's been holding a bow for exactly five hours. He just shot an elk. <laughs> He's right there. Mm -hmm. That's a dead bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. 40 yards. Oh. <laughs> 40 yards, oh, buddy. He smoked him. Good job. Good job, brother. Well, why are we Good doing job. all this looking for? <laughs> the bull's right there. Wait, let's follow the blood trail out. <laughs> right oh, in between those two trees. Good job, oh. bud. Well guys, Montana is coming to an end. Thank you guys for watching and following along the last seven days, I think it's been. Seven days. Two different locations, a bunch of elk action. We are uh, packed up camp. We're gonna go stop and have some breakfast when we hit a town, not sure which town. And then uh, Cody and the crew are heading off to Idaho to finish up the Land of the Free 2.0 series. So if you wanna continue to watch more of their content, Go check them out at Born and Raised Outdoors. Give them a subscription to their YouTube channel and uh, go support some really good people. And for us, okay, what do yeah. we got next, bud? We're going to be at home for a few days. Uh, we're going to be at home for probably a week, 10 days, which will be great. And then I'm headed to Wyoming to do an antelope hunt with my daughter and Adam Weatherby and his daughter and uh, Cal from First Light, which I'm super excited about. Excited to get my daughter out and uh, chase some antelope. Yeah, and I know Eric's going to be hanging out with his brother Walker on a muzzleloader deer hunt in Utah. And then uh, we got Nevada mule Brian's deer. Brian's got a sick Nevada mule deer tag. We're going to go shoot a big deer with him. Casey's got a great Idaho deer tag, mule deer. And then I know uh, Jared Outlaw. If you guys follow Outlaw, go to Outlaw Dipper. He's going to be coming to Utah, chasing some mule deer with Eric as well. And then we're all, all three of us are back together off to Kansas to go chase whitetails with a friends from Stealth Camp. So, Still a ton of action. Action packed, action packed fall, guys. And it's coming at you every day. Anyways, thank you guys for following along. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.